Howdy who and welcome to Nev's Gaming today we are in our well what will be our street precinct area where we're gonna have all our different types of farms each encumbered in a different style of building now I know what you're thinking what could we be doing today well we're gonna be finishing off and repairing our armor so let's take a look at it here you can see we've got a broken helmet and our boots and leggings and chest plate are all running down very very slowly so we need to repair it and i just so happened to have finished the villager trading hall behind me look at this building doesn't it look like a majestic majestic office building there where ooh, i forgot to put some blocks in the corner but i'll capture that in a bit but yeah i tried to mimic the style as a office type area you know it's boring you'd go into there you wouldn't want to be in there that type of style because basically an office building and we don't want that do we no 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 so how are we going to repair items well first of all we need to pop over to our sugar game farm and collect all the paper that we have been gathering slowly over time so let's pop in here and say hello look at those piston engines bumping beautifully we've got paper flowing like no tomorrow i may decide to put in a chunk loader in this area I haven't quite decided yet because I don't want it to overflow because I've only got a certain amount of chest. Uh, but we'll come to that at a later date. Let's get all this paper ready for trading. Let's get all that XP and repair our tools with the emeralds. So entering our villager trading hall here, you can see, look at it. I've got three layers of villages and plenty of storage for all the different items we could possibly well, trade with them. Oh, it's fantastic. I've even used stone stairs here just to blend in with the wall uh, to get up. I was going to put in a staircase, but I decided against it because I just didn't think it was necessary for that. So, what are we going to do? Where, how are we going to start? Well, on the bottom layer, I've tried to organise as best as possible. I've got all my librarians at the bottom for the paper, followed by the butchers here and the leather makers here. If we go up a level, we've got our... Where are we? In fact, I'll show you. Let's go up. Let's go up here and I'll show you. We've got our armourers who will collect all the coal. We've got over here, we've got steel forges. Again, they'll collect more coal. And up above, we've got our arbitrists, our um, engineers. No, what are they called? Our mechanics. They're all upstairs because we won't be needing them yet. So let's go trade with all these villagers and get all the emeralds. 32 emeralds later and a lot of trading that's night time as well uh, we have actually completed uh, well not completed but we've got enough emeralds to repair our tools so let's take a cheeky unhook all them from my body wow i actually uh look pretty good without any armor on hmm, if i do say so myself let's head over to the armor forge here so we can repair our items we can simply do that by inserting each and every item look at that look at that all all armored back up now we are back to being unstoppable this axe by the way has got really good beheading capabilities really good i've uh, had more mob heads than any other item than any other weapon with this i've also made this in my hand here the mighty sponge let's have a quick sleep before we carry on this mighty sponge here we have in my hand is used by simple a sponge and a stick and to make a sponge you just use a slime block and some wool and voila you have a sponge. Not like normal but, uh, normal uh, vanilla Minecraft but if you simply utilize this little water area here, click right click it, it empties the water area out and it leaves this little gap here. So you can just do a lot of Look at that. Look how easy that is. Look how easy that was. And it's multiple usable. I don't need to dry it out. I don't need to whack it in a furnace. I don't need to go to the nether. It's nice and simple. And it's made by Open Block Mod. Fantastic. Shall we go check our mine though? Now we've upgraded our armor. We now have a steady flow of cobblestone coming in. And the speed of the mine has increased. Because I have made some more sterling engines. If we go in between here, made some more sterling engines right here, just to, and used the let's change back to F1. If we uh, see here, we've got kinetic pipes. And you can see all the electricity and the energy flowing into the quarry there, and the speed of the quarry has increased dramatically. Whoa, I'm just worried that these cobblestone 
pipes. I won't be able to keep up with it, but hopefully, hopefully, we'll get enough gold in order to combat that. Uh, I've also increased the storage capacity. I am tempted to go around in a big circle, or I'm also tempted to go right the way down and see how much we can actually get. I have multiple layers of mines, multiple layers of storage. All that good stuff. But what do we want to achieve this episode? Well, I want to delve deeper into the mechanism mod. So if we take a quick cheeky look inside, if we go change that from engine to mechanism here, you see we have a load of items. Just like in our communal area, we have all these different objects and things like that that we can actually utilize. Oh, look, just look at it. We've got solar neutron activators. We've got these, the pumps. Look, there's the ultimate fluid tank. Uh, if we go to the next, if we go to the next page, you can see we've got our wind generators, our solar generators, bio generators, all the generators we can make here. But there's one thing that each and every one of these require, and that is a basic control circuit or an electronic circuit. But how do we make this? Well, if we click on the basic control circuit, you'll see it. We need a metallurgic infuser. How do we make one of them? Well, we simply go over to, we simply click the metallurgic infuser, which can be upgraded. If we click the metallurgic infuser there, it tells you we need an iron ingot, two furnaces, and some osmium ingot. So I'm going to set a load of that up for our first machine in the factory area. Here we have our four metal infusics, oh, a lot of infusers, uh, I mean, all laid out in front of us. Now, how are we going to power these because they do actually require power? Well, we're going to use these little items that I said earlier, the heat generators. Now, these work by a simple, like, heat, basically. If they're surrounded by heat, if you're in the desert, they'll produce a little bit. If you put a torch down, they'll produce a little bit. But we're going to utilize lava, hence why I've got this right next to me. So, if we go grab our bucket out of here and grab some lava we'll place that in there and then just to build up the back here we will then go and place this heat generator in front of it that will then connect to the metal infuser and actually power it i'm going to do this for the rest of them and we'll see what we can start producing just like that four infusers are ready to start making me the materials i require now, what are the first things we're going to do or you build? Well, well, you need those uh, circuits and we need the basic controller and we're also going to need a couple of enriched alloy. Now, in order to make them, we need to place an osmium, osmium ingot in with some redstone. Let's see how much that's filling up there. In fact, we'll stick it all in. We'll stick all the redstone in. Now, hopefully, as you can see there, now it's getting power from the heat exchanger. It's not a lot, but it's enough. There we go, we're making our basic control circuits. Now, we're going to build a few of them. Oh, well, we're going to see how much we need to make a few of them. But we also need to make the enriched alloy, which is used in iron ingot. So we're going to move over to this next one. See if we've got any redstone actually on us, because we need to, may need to pay, make a quick trip back, which looks like we'll have to. Another quick look. No, we've got a four there. We're going to make some enriched alloy in this one as well. So we'll place all the redstone in there. And you know what? We'll whack all the iron in there. And voila, we've got our basic control circuit maker. And we've also got our enriched alloy circuit maker. Right, we'll get all these built up and then we'll move on to working on our next item. Well, we've got all these four up and running. Let's go check out how much we've produced. It shouldn't be that much because the heat the heat generator is not well it's not that efficient and it is your basic starter generator i'll have my tank back please uh we've got 15 basic circuit controls here how much have we got in here we've got 14 enriched alloy and you can see there that it does use a lot of rf and it's not getting a lot in so hence why we're going slow i've started making enriched iron for steel blend the reason for this is because when we smelt it, we will be getting steel. And if we go into the kinetic area, for instance, if we go to solar generator, nope, that doesn't require it. Bio generator, nope. Wait, one of these requires steel. I know it does. Where are we? Let's go for basic combiner, nope. Combiner, nope. Oh, here we go. Steel casing, there we go. A lot of these machines require steel. So I've started just doing the initial process so we could maybe get ourselves an electric furnace in order to make the steel. So we'll leave that in there for now. But our next task is to make a better uh, energy supply, which will be the wind generator. 
which requires an energy tablet, which is made out of gold and enriched alloy. I'm going to make them get a load or as much as possible up and running um, in the field behind us. Hopefully, we'll have enough power to power all the required items we need. As you can see, I've just broke these and then panicked as well because I thought, oh no, I've just made everything and forgot to take everything out. But it, oh, we're lucky. Everything stays within it already. Woo. That was a panic on my part. Out of all that, we were able to make three, that's three windmills. So let's go and have a cheeky little look-see, producing plenty of energy for us. I've had to plug straight in because if I break this one, you'll see that the output of the windmill is only actually one. And it's that one there. So I've had to place it directly in front until I have enough items in order to make the uh, basic universal cable. That will then be able to uh, transmit all the energy into it. I'm not sure if any of the other mods will work with it. Uh, I could try in the future, but I'm not going to this episode. And this episode, I'm going to try and stick to mechanism and keep all the required uh, inputs to mechanism and then progress all later on once we get a bit more resources and can get all converters and things like that. So let's see how fa how much faster it is in producing the ores. Now we're going to need a lot of steel, so if we add that to the infuser which is there i believe no i need to smelt that i don't know what i was thinking there i don't know why i tried to add that all i need to do is add iron though and that'll turn it into enriched iron dust and then we could we should have a transport pipe going into that uh, at some point this one's just redstone uh i think i'm right is that gonna give us enriched iron yeah that's right so we take the enriched iron and then we'll place it into this one here, which will then... Oh, look how fast that is now. Look how fast that... Look how fast it is compared to what we were using before. Steel blend. There we go. That's going to turn it into steel. And then we'll be able to make the pipes. I'm going to have a quick sleep. And then we'll start working on the pipes. And there we have our basic setup here. We've got... All our power distribution using the basic universal cabling. They are then powering each um, infuser, what is required, and then everything leads into this energized smelter. So we will no longer need any fuel because we can smelt everything. And if you look here, I've actually configured it for smelting steel, which we are going to need a lot of. So if we click this block here and add some iron, you'll see that it will get infused with all this carbon. Now we've just got to patiently wait for that to happen. And then shortly we should see it starts slowly passing along. There we go. We see something there. Six enriched iron have gone into here now. They will then get infused with the carbon themselves. And that will get passed on to the steel blend here, which will then get infused, well, smelted into a steel ingot, which we can make all our rest of our items with now to do this i had to create the configurator now the configurator actually changes a lot of the options so it's simply made with lapis azul an energy tablet and and a little while what was the other thing enriched alloy something like that but basically we are able to change what these are so if we click we can actually change to see the output so if we go into one of these oh no there we go click off that if we go into one of these you can see what we want to be outputting, what we want to be inputting, infusing, things like that. That's easy. That's the easy slot. That just tells you what slot goes into which area. Next, if we go to the transport config, you can actually select what output you want to, or what you want to be outputting and what you want to be inputting. So that's just the side there. So it'll be inputting. So I've got that outputting the blue to the dark red. Nice and simple. But not just only that. It won't work just by putting the uh, pipe on. No, 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 no. You've got to use the configurator and actually shift and right click. And it changes the connection type. So none. Oh, oh no. There we go. We need to get, make sure we get on the right page of the pipe or otherwise it won't work. So we click here, this section of the pipe. That's now an input. Pushing, pushing all the items in. That is now and now well, pulling all the items out and into the next one so we can actually make sure it is only going to be one way by doing that and that is our simple setup for making steel alloys fan dabby dozy so what's our next item that we actually need to make now in the in this mod well i'm going to tell you what we're going to make next is 
a basic sawing mill. Where are we? A basic sawing factory. How do we make that? A precision saw mill. We need some iron, enriched alloy, and some basic control units. So we need to make all that to make our sawmill. Why do we need to make the sawmill? Because we can put logs in there and get more planks out than we require. Yes, and also produces sawdust, which can be used in all, all other things as well. What else do I want to make? So we obviously want the enriching factory there. That will give you two ores for one, which is a fabulous thing to get as well. And what else, what else do we want? We want... In fact, let's go check at the communal home, because this is this is going to be the ideal setup. This is going to be the ideal setup. What we have here, where where if we go over to here, we see the purification chamber that uses oxygen. So we're going to need an electrolytic separator. That separator will produce oxygen and hydrogen. That will then go into the purification chamber, which will purify the ores. The ores will then get sent to a crusher which will get sent to an enrichment chamber to double the amount of ores we get and then to the energized smelter. So ideally I want to make all this for like different types of ores and we can actually filter them so we know which ores are going into it. Now we've got the logical sorter. Woo! So uh, I suppose I better build the uh, build the thing. But first I'm just going to charge my tool up by utilizing Ty's charging pad. Ah, thank you very much. And with a quick spin, shoom, look at that. We've got it all set up and all completed. That means we can utilize our own now and not have to use the communal areas. We don't have to worry about putting all the ores into there. No, 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 no. We can utilize our own. So let's have a quick look at how it actually works. I love how in the background you can also see things filled with oil because that's going to uh, be my distillery at some point. I haven't figured out how to make one yet, but uh, we will get there maybe in the next episode. Maybe, maybe for fuel. I know we need. I know we need to make fuel, but let's have a cheeky little look. Yeah, I've also come across these diamonds chests in the mod. One, the diamond chests can be placed next to each other, uh, which is fantastic. And two, look how much storage there is. There's absolutely an immense amount of storage, so I wouldn't need to worry about storage for the rest of my time. Now, why haven't I come across these yet? Well, I'll tell you. If we go into the guide here and we get rid of this because we don't need to see this and we type in chest, or chest even, you can see here we've got different types. We've got iron, gold, diamond, copper, and silver. Now, copper and iron have the same. Silver and gold have the same. Diamond has the best one in there. So what did I go and do? I went and made them. It's simply one chest surrounded by the ore you want. Obviously, oh, three pickaxe. Uh, obviously, it's what it, you upgrade it from like silver and gold to diamonds and then iron and bronze to silver or gold. You upgrade it that way to get these. But I've utilized it again. I keep throwing this axe today. But I've got to utilize that for luck or as we ingots. Uh, I'm going to utilize that for collecting all the stuff. But so far, our factory begins with the metallurgy, where we produce all these enriched alloys here, utilizing some redstone. If we take a quick look there, you can see that the metallurgy has full. This is just from three windmills. We will get an enriched alloy like that, just from a bit of redstone. If we actually go to the enrichment chamber and put in redstone there, we get something called a compressed redstone. Now, if we take this compressed redstone and run it over to our metallurgic infuser, you'll see there's 10 in there now. 10 in there now, right? I'll let all that go. If we actually click this redstone in there, bosh, 90 straight away. 90. So there's a, it is better than putting in normal redstone. So we'll quickly uh, fill, fill that back up with a redstone right there, and we'll slowly get our enriched alloys if we have a look in here you can see we've run out as well i don't think i've got any more redstone on me i'll have to have a quick look in my bag yes i have yes i have so we can turn that into dust uh we'll turn half into dust and we'll stick that in the enrichment chamber like so oh in fact we might be able to do another output here 
Hmm, maybe that's a new process that we could do. Or we'll just build another Richmond chamber and stick it in between and then put both outputs left and right there. Well, wow, that's another possibility. See, there is possibilities to come as we progress through this season and look into all this, all the different kinds of mechanisms. I mean, what have we found today? We found some diamond chests. We've set up our own all smelt smeltery. I figured out how to make biofuel. That's another thing I want to come across. Uh, let me first take you through how this actually works. So we want to send our items. Well, we want to get the most out of our ores, don't we? So this is how we do it. We stick all our items in the purification chamber. I will have to move all this biofuel out now. So we'll make room. And did you see that? Did you see that? How it shot across right there? It shoots into here all these iron clump clusters. Why? Because it's getting purified by the auction. From this electrolyte, electrolyte, I can't even say it, electrolytic separator, which is utilizing the water, water pump, all the energy still coming from the windmills. Let me sneak up under here. Thank you. Let's head back up. Now, these will start shooting across because now we know how to use the basic electrical transporter and a trusty little configurator tool. These are now getting purified into three iron clumps. They will then get turned into dirty iron dust which will shoot over to the enrichment chamber, which is currently doing the redstone. But I'll take that redstone out for now, just so I can show you what happens. This then all gets shot, shot across, all the way over to the top, down into the next enrichment chamber, where the dirty iron dust will get, will get enriched into pulverized iron. Now that pulverized iron then will get smelted into a normal block of iron, and then placed into here. Wow. That... That is crazy, and I yes, I have decided I want a, another, what are they called? What are they called? Not a crusher, not a purification chamber, one of these, an enrichment chamber. Now, I'm sure I made one by accident, an extra one, so let's just check our bags. Basic enriching factory. Will that do the same job? Let's have a cheeky little look. Yes, it will. Wow, that's an upgraded one. And so I might just, in fact, stick this in the middle here for now. Head over to here, get our basic universal cable. Plug that in there. Change the output and output there. And then we should be able to, as you can see, fill that up as we upgrade. We'll be able to use more more and smelt more things in so i'm wondering now which side will fill up first is there a more prominent side no why aren't these oh, i know why i know why because you need to put auto eject on no okay hmm this is this is strange why isn't this working because we didn't configure this side. Look, input. Okay, maybe we did. What about this side? Did we configure this side? So we need to change that to input. Change that side to none. Outputs the front. Infuses the purple. There we go. It looks like it. Is it working? Wow, that really worked. That really worked. So let's do this again. So change this to input change that to uh, where are we none yes there we go that's working now oh no but you are not going anywhere is it because you're just changing these two let's try this again some testing testing here we are ah yes i had it in the wrong slot i need to change it to infuse like that, there we go. Now it actually picks up the infused. Ah, oh, what an absolute silly old bean I was then. There we go, now we can put 10 in each. It'll change it to infused redstone. And there we go. See that? See that now? It's pushing it all out that we need. So let's stick some osmium in here. And let's get some more of them. Wow. Woo, an upgrade right there and then. See, absolutely amazing. I'm getting toe-to-toe -to -toe with all these me mechanism features now. Not only have I done this bit, admittedly, that autocrafter in there. 
we probably could upgrade that somehow, utilizing all these mechanism tools. But I don't want to. I'm quite content with this. Ooh, why are you out there? That's a mystery. But I'm quite content with how this is coming along. There's no backup. Um, there's no backlog to it, so it's great. If we go along the high street now, which is slowly, slowly growing bigger and bigger as each day goes by, and we head into the cat this farm. Look at this cat this farm. It is doing its own thing now. Oh no! Wait! Whoa, 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 whoa! Why is that stopped working? Oh, give that a little bit of a click. So I made this little setup here. I probably should have done it the other way so I had more space to see. But ideally, I've got a crusher on the top where all the cat disc comes into. We change that, so we need the input. So it should be the, oh no, so we want the input there. That should then start collecting it, shouldn't it? No. So why then? Why have you suddenly stopped taking it? Why are you all suddenly on output? So if we change that to none, if we change it all to none, what happens? If we change it all to none. Okay, we're not getting any energy. So, so here we go. Here we go. So green energy there, that's filled back up, right? That's filled back up. Now we need to change the top to input. Yes, there we go. So I need to change you to input. You to none. And then the output should be the bottom, I believe. Out yes, because the output should be going into you. Which it is now. Fantabby dozy. Now that's working. Woo, that was a bit of a struggle, that one there. Still not collecting cat this from this chest though. I'll have to figure that out at a later date. But that's all we got time for, folks. Yes, that's we did a lot today. We upgraded our mine. We sorted out our own our own ore increase. We sorted out our increase in capacity of the ores that we make. We've then gone over here and made our own biofuel generator. That's a lot to take in for this episode. So I'm going to end it there. Hopefully next episode we'll have an encasement of this area. So it's not just left in the open. Oh, thank you for sticking with me. Make sure you like and subscribe if you are following with me. I've been Nebs Gaming. You've been amazing. Toodaloo. And I'll see all you wonderful people in a few. Goodbye.